right, guys. We're back again today. I got a new adventure in Unify Land, baby. All right, so today uh, I got a customer, got a switch for him. Uh, this is the Unify Switch Lite 16. This is a PoE switch. Uh, it has eight PoE Plus ports on it and eight non-PoE ports on it. So the whole thing, even though it's called uh, 16 PoE, it's not all full PoE. Eight are, eight are not. Uh, this switch is max power consumption, is 15 watts itself. That's not counting PoE. This is with no PoE devices plugged in, just powering it, is max wattage. Not saying it's gonna run that way all the time, that's just what the max wattage of the unit itself is. Um, the max uh, PoE per port, since this is PoE plus on it, uh, just PoE on PoE plus. The max per port of wattage per, you know, Ethernet jack in is 30 watts, because, you know, PoE plus uh, only can handle 30 watts. I mean, uh, so yeah, if it was plus, a plus, they can do 60 to 100, but this isn't this. This is PoE plus, 30 watts per port. Now, max consumption of this, of max total throughput of PoE power that this thing can do, if all the devices plugged into it at max, is 45 watts. It's a lot more than you think, depending on what devices you're using. But yeah, so like this one, I'm gonna use it for eight uh, G5 cameras. So, bullet cameras, eight G5 bullet cameras. Perfect amount for it, no problem, be able to handle this without a hiccup. Uh, yeah, so let's get this thing unboxed. But before we do, I just wanna say, if you guys like these videos, like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you guys don't miss any of these videos. All right, let's get into that unboxing. All right, guys, sorry about that. My camera, I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. This always happens. This is the switch. Came out nicely, as you can see with the lightning bolts. We got the PoE, the 8 PoE Plus. And then if we go over here, non-PoE. Over here, as you can see, the PoE symbol on the little outlets. It kind of gives a diagram here. On this, on the left side, you can see if the PoE is on over here. On because this will work as non-PoE too. They don't have to be PoE. They just take PoE. If you want to power stuff, you gotta go over here because uh, this side doesn't have PoE. Uh, we have the one gig connection uh, is green and the 100. So you'll see that on this side, on both sides. Uh, you just won't see this one on this side. Only on this side. Nice power outlet right there. You're supposed to be able to wall mount this, so that'll be interesting. Nice rubber feet. All right, sorry you guys didn't see the, get to see the bliss of the Unify tear up unboxing that Unify has. Let's see what this is, how this comes out. Okay, here we go. This is the stuff I haven't opened up yet. This is the real unboxing right now for you guys. Sorry, that's a power cord, ta-da. Okay, this is the power cord for it. Power cord, standard US power cord. And that's it, that's all we get. So basically that's all we get in this device. Uh, oh, actually, no, there is something hidden right here. I'm guessing this is the wall mount. Yes, it is. This is the little wall mount piece. So I'm guessing it fits right in there, yeah. So we'll see how this works. I just figured, I never opened one of these before, so. I'm guessing, and I'm pretty sure, just by looking at the back of it, and the way that this looks, is there screws? No screws, use whatever you want them. As long as they're, you know, go flat. Oh, actually, wait, these are the screws. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. So all you gotta do is, you would put this on the wall, facing this way up, and then this, if you look in there, has little teeth. So if this is on the wall, this would just go just like this, and it would hold, lock in there. You'd pull it down, and it would lock in there, and it would hold that sucker on the wall. And there it is, wall mounted, and you would just, oh man, that's in there. Uh... <sighs> Holy, let's go back and forth wiggling. Well, looks like that might just stay there for now, because that hurts my fingers trying to take that off. <laughs> I mean, it'd be easier probably if I had leverage and it was screwed in the wall, I could just pull it off, but I mean, I could probably, let's go. Ah, yowcho, wowcho. 
We got it. Woo! Youchy wouchy. All right, so there we go. It's off now. But yeah, that's pretty cool. It comes with it. I like that. All right, let's get into my final thoughts on this sucker after. But before we do, guess what we're going to do? We're going to go into the interface and show you. Because remember, this is a layer two, so we'll see what features that this has. All right, guys, now we're in the interface, so we're going to see USW Lite 16 PoE. Let's get into it. Let's go to, so we got the ports here, so we can see the information, PoE power availability is okay. I'm not using PoE, so it's fine. 45 watts, as I said. Go down to here, you can see the IP address, your MAC address, downlink, uplink, the switch itself, what port it's on, connected to. Uh, okay, and this is my 24 Pro it's connected to right now. We're gonna go through the actual uh, settings first before we go to ports. You can name it, default, Global switching settings, DHCP or static, whatever what you want. LED, if you want the LED off or on. Firmware updates, this is cool. So you can go to the website, manually put the link in here if you want to redo a firmware update, even though it's always already updated, but you want to redo it again because you think it might have not worked correctly. You can force updates that way again or put custom ones on. Um, locate, make it blink in the rack if you're trying to find it. Restart and forget if you're going to give it. So if we forget it. Uh, remove device from your network and restore to factory settings uh, and erase it uh, and uh, erase its usage history. So cool. All right, so next we're gonna go to ports. Ports fun time, port fun time. So here are the ports. We got the ports here. We got port seven that it's on and we can click up any port. Obviously these are the POE ones here. Uh, we can name it. We can put what uh, network we want it on. Uh, we have a uh, MAC address list, so we can lock it to a MAC address if we wanted to. We could add the MAC address into it, copy paste it in here and lock it, or you can add multiple if you want to be able to say, hey, any of these devices that's in this link here of this MAC address, they'll be accepted. Anything not, you cannot, you know, connect to it. So this is going to be for cameras, so I'm going to lock all these MAC addresses to it once I'm done. So if they're outside, if somebody comes up, unplugs one of the cameras, they can't just plug in their laptop or hook a little adapter to extend it to their laptop. And it's just a good security feature, especially for big home, probably don't have to worry as much, but it's good to have, but for businesses, yes. Uh, PoE, if I want PoE, PoE off, it really doesn't matter, it's auto sensing. So it's either gonna do PoE or not, but if you want to just to make yourself happier, you know, do it. Uh, switching, mirroring, aggregate, you can pick what you want the switch to do. So let's see if we go here, let's see here if we go to aggregate, let's see if we aggregate one, let's see if we can do that, aggregate. And then we can select port two, so that we can create a, you know, a 2.5 gig connection right there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, out of our one gig, we're not gonna apply that, so we're gonna hit cancel. Auto negotiate if you want to. We're gonna cancel that out, go back to it. Uh, ports, uh, we already said PoE switching, uh, auto negotiate. Oh, port isolation, so this is cool. You know, traffic between ports, you can isolate it. Uh, storm control, LED med, topology change notification. So if it changes topology, you can, it'll, notification will come in. Spanning tree, you can look at the spanning tree so you can see it in your tree when you go to your diagram over here, your, your topology and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, it's really dang, just really dang cool. I love this. It's just... Topology change notification. Uh, they have spanning tree and ingress rate limit. So that's pretty cool too. You can set a rate limit if you want to, data rate if you want, and if you enable it, you can go down and set how much rates depending on what port you're allowed for the devices. It's just freaking cool. This cool switch works good. I mean, these ones are non PoE, so you're not going to get the, if I select 11, it's non PoE. So I'm not going to get any of the PoE stuff because it's not PoE. But go over here, PoE. Now, if we go down, we should see all the PoE stuff. Let's make sure I switch. Oh, there's two switch. Unlink. Here we go. Now PoE. There it is. Unlink. Bring over here. No PoE because it ain't PoE. But yeah. All right. Let's get into my final thoughts. All right, guys. 
So that was the Unify Switch Lite 16. It is an awesome switch. Like I say, it's not too big. It's perfect for a little network and stuff that you want to get going. Or let's say you have a network, uh, you know, a big Unify network. And you're like, hey, I need to switch over here. I need a lot of ports on it, but I don't want to have a rack or anything. I just need it or I need it in the closet upstairs just because I want to have more stuff connected to it. And I don't want to have to make as many runs back to the main head. Just do one. I mean, there's so many different options for this thing. It's a great, it's just a great switch. And I would recommend it to anyone. So yeah, it looks nice and clean and sleek and it's wall mountable all right out of the box. Can't beat that, but hey, I do these videos for you guys. I wanna make sure that you guys are having a great, great day. And that's why at the end of my video, I always say, I hope you and your family are having a rock and rolling day and peace out. And I'll see you in the next video. Rock on, I'm excited. Unify, great company, not sponsored, no sponsors. So yes, I'll catch you in the next one.